What is going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a great Thursday. Bobby Fye here for my five and five. We're going to talk through five plays in five minutes. Uh, really, it's more of a general outlook on what I do on the slate, but I'll give you sort of the, the highlights. Some might be team stacks, some might be individual players. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out all of our stuff on uh, through, uh, SaberSim through us. We're charging a fraction more than they are. We did a show earlier today going through uh, using SaberSim and how we can utilize it and all that stuff. And uh, I want you guys to check those out. And if you have any questions, of course, we're all here in Discord and we're here to help you. We also have a SaberSim direct specific channel. Uh, you can ask questions, but in addition to SaberSim, you can get our packages, my bets of the day, my plays of the day, my actual early lineup builds for the sports. And I think it's really valuable. So let's jump on into it. Um, Anyway, uh, oh, I did want to mention also that we have Rody's, all of Rody's picks, all of Rody's top stacks, his pitchers, um, as well as Sheets core plays and Sheets projections, et cetera, which are the best in the industry. Anyway, jumping on into it, I think pitching is an interesting decision tonight. So my favorites in order are Nola Montas Otani in that tier. I'm sorry, Nola Montas Scubel Otani in that tier. Um, I don't mind getting to, to, to more Otani, but I, I do think the matchup's going to be tough. And I actually love toronto as a contrarian stack but in the lower tier i think you've got ryu uh you've got marquez and corbin all in play i think that ryu and marquez are my favorite and then we have the pilkington thing at 4k if you want to go that far i am going to be using more pitchers tonight than i have been it's been working out for me when i have done that because i'm keeping my stacks pretty tight i think the dodgers are going to be really popular on FanDuel. Uh, i think they're great plays over there you should build your lineup starting with them but I think that on FanDuel, just because they're going to be so high owned, I will probably shift and play them more on DraftKings where they're a little bit harder to get in just because of all the pricing. Uh, again, without knowing the exact lineup, we won't know that until probably about 640 Eastern. Um, but I like the Dodgers. I do like Boston. I don't think Boston's going to be especially high owned because, again, the pricing, but have a bunch of great lefty killers in that lineup. And I think that they're a really good stack that's being under projected right now. Uh, I think Toronto is an incredible pivot stack, and I think KC is an incredible, not a not a leverage, not a pivot stack, but a stack that no one's going to be on. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and then I'm going to be mixing in the cheapos from Minnesota and from uh, the like Kyle Garlicks and, and Mirandas, and, and then I'm going to be mixing in some of the, uh, the, the cheap ones from Oakland where I'm not using them, but I'm not high on that because Martin Perez has been the best pitcher in baseball. Uh, over the last six starts, he's basically been unhittable. He's given up three runs in his last six starts, including a complete game shutout against Houston. I think he's another guy you can consider as a pitcher tonight for sure in this matchup. Uh, I'm just sort of debating whether or not I want to do that or go for the max upside strikeout guys like Nola, like Montaz, uh, et cetera. So that's where I'm at. Favorite pitcher on FanDuel will be Nola as well. Again, Nola and Montaz both good, but Nola, I think there's a little bit of a better chance to get the win there than I do for Montaz, but it's pretty close either way. And then a couple other, you know, favorites. I mentioned Boston, but I really like uh, Kike Hernandez and J.D. Martinez. I really like A.J. Pollock as a one-off. I really like Juan Soto as a one-off. And that's sort of an outlook of what I'm doing with the slate. I'll be live at 6 Eastern, and I look forward to seeing you guys there because I think it's going to be a fun one, and hopefully we can have another big night. It's been pretty good. I haven't been playing every day because I've had a lot of uh, personal things I've had to tend to. And uh, but when I played, it's it's been really, really nice lately. So uh, hopefully we can keep that running. We've also had a lot of our members getting hot as well. So uh, let's, let's uh, keep it going. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see, hopefully see you guys at the top of the leaderboards. Good luck, everybody.